Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now... Ace didn't scream, here we go. I was lost. I, I didn't know we were going on. Are we going on? Are we Here on? we go. Here we go. There hey. we go. Feels good. Hi there. It's time. We're back. That's right. Soldiering on. It's the Bob and Tom Show, May 7th, 2020, in the studio. The quarantine days continue. At least six feet apart. There's Tom. Or one fathom deep. <laughs> going to get into that again. Hello, Christy. Hi, Chick. More than two fathoms deep, Christy. Let's shut up. Hello, Josh. Hey, Chicky. Hello, Ace. Chick. Well, that we, we the, this 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 can't continue. <laughs> this is, this is uh, man. I hope you got the VIP camera watching wow. on, on YouTube. Why do we have two Pat Godwin's on camera? There's no need for two. I've right. got three. That's at least oh, one more. Poor yes, Ace. yes. Poor Ace. Ace has one on his computer, yeah. Yeah, on his laptop. Now, for some reason, there are two monitors in here. Pat's in a different part of the building. The beauty of this is the monitor in the left, you look healthy. The one on the right, you look like you're being prepared to be buried. <laughs> <laughs> lighting, man. Yeah. Could we all adjust all the, about the tint, lighting. whatever it is? Right. Right, yeah. yeah. Adjust, remember those days? Just the what? You'd walk the up, tint. take the dial, and Whoa, move the, the tint. tint and the... Did you say tint? Tint. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. The T I N T, remember? What was yeah. the other one? There was tint, and there was contrast. Darkness. Contrast. 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 Okay. Darkness. Yeah. Color. Darkness, yeah. Ace through in darkness? Uh, said sharpness. Oh, sharpness. sharpness. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, he meant to say darkness. Okay. Sure. Of course he did. Yeah. Yeah. The level of dark. Of course. I had starkness, of course, which was more content related. If you were watching a comedy, you could turn up the starkness. A true. A true. Now, what's the Dick Cavett style. story I was trying to think of the other day? So Dick Cavett's on Johnny Carson, is that the Yeah, story? they're at the end of the show, and they've got uh, a few seconds left. You know how Johnny wraps up the show. Hey, what are you up to? Uh, join us next week. And, uh, yeah, and he's, <laughs> so he's going down the couch, and he's saying, hey, what are you up? And finally, Cavett is at the end, and he goes, uh, so Dick, uh, what are you working on these days? And Dick <laughs> says, well, I'm currently working on a comedic version of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Johnny fell out of his chair. Yeah. That's, well, that's, and, a, and why, that's a rock solid why, joke. Why wouldn't you yes. fall out of your chair? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, coming up, we uh, did some digging and, and uh, found um, one of the great moments ever from this show. Uh, it's compact. It's um, fewer than 90 seconds in length. Okay. And it is, uh, it's just rock solid. We're going to get to it in just a few minutes. I'm so excited about this. All right. Um, we've been asking for requests or, or whatever. We'd like to know where you are and what you're doing. And I uh, just want to hear from you during these quarantine days uh, worldwide. I heard yesterday from, uh, gosh, uh, Europe, uh, South Africa, lots of uh, lots of spots. Um, we've heard from Antarctica. Yeah. Love to hear from you. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. You never, Dayton, hear, you never yeah. hear from, yeah, Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> you never hear from uh, Uncle Arctic, do you? No, you don't. Just it's all, it's all Antarctica. Yeah. God. Wow, is that a is Anything? that a preview of today's comedy? <laughs> That's right, buddy. I have my keys. I can uncle, leave. Aunt and Uncle Arctica. Wow. Jeez. I may barf. You you guarantee that you're going to Christy, you didn't yes. hear this. He guaranteed he's gonna play something and we're all going to howl. Yeah. Howl is ninety what he seconds said. worth. And if I if they howl. don't, I promise there would be a what? A moment of a favor of, 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 uh, of interracial. Yeah, see, yeah he was do, love. gonna do something to Ace <laughs> yeah. and they're all, all alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> he had it right there in the chamber, ready to go. <laughs> okay, you want to get right to it? Yes. Okay, let's just I do a few wait. introductions. Ace Cosby, of course, is our engineer. I think we did and, that. And uh, when that track phone hotline rings, Ace will be answering it. Thank you, track phone. Uh, I will point out that uh, we are social distancing. Which is a phrase I can't stand. I've told people there's nothing who, uh, very social about it. People ask it me about it. It should be called it. anti-social distancing. <laughs> they ask me about the show. Uh, they go, hey, uh, how's the show going? I go, well, we all made fun of Tom when he, he, he wanted to have a big studio. And uh, we, why do we need a studio that big? And boy, you're... Wow. You yeah. saw... You must... You're a genius. You're a visionary. No, 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 dumb no. luck. And I know that you Philistines probably roll around in bacteria, germs, and oh, spirochetes yeah, all day do. long. Mm -hmm. I like the In our little toy lives. Yes, with our I little spent all toy. damn day cleaning and doing laundry yesterday. Toy thing. houses. I have had my... Uh, yep. Giant. This is only one of two. I have. I've had these sanitizer things, as you guys know, for years in the room. This is yeah. a. And then, uh, do we have right there, Josh? That is a for Christmas one year. I gave all you guys uh, hand sanitizer in bottles with my photograph on it. That's right. right. Yeah. Tom and, is holding a hand sanitizer jug that is the same size as a two liter of, of uh, soda pop. Yeah. yeah. A two liter. But anyway, we are socially distanced. That people are wondering. So um, yes, we are. And then Christie's, of course, over there in the Navy Federal Credit Union. News room. Mm -hmm. Mr. Godwin, elsewhere in the building, 
and we have this weird two camera thing going now. Why do we that. have two? Yeah, let's stop that. No, there's a reason for this. Oh, oh. Okay, can you explain that? No. Oh. Um, it involves electricity, and I'm really not allowed to talk about it. Hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, Dean, <laughs> Dean, and, Dean and John have been There's a Tesla at the stuff. bottom of it somewhere? We're <laughs> Eddie. We have, we have two great stories about Elon Musk coming up uh, today. But right crazy. now, as promised. This is it. We're, we're going to howl. It took us a while to figure out what this was about. Uh, this guy, uh, his name is uh, Richard. Mm-hmm. And uh, he wrote yesterday going, can you please play the segment with a guest, I'm forgetting his name, talking about his friend. And then he kind of goes on talking about this guy drinking too much. And uh, and it, he says, it was one of the most bizarre endings to your show that I can remember. And I was, then I realized what this was. And um, we dug around and found it. What's happening here is uh, this is at the end of the show. Okay. A couple of years ago. And the great comedian Kevin Meany was in here. Mm. And Kevin was telling various stories about his life. And he starts to tell this story. But the key to this is, remember, we are running out of time. <laughs> and we have to bail because there's some computer switch. that they're there. Everyone's oh. always jumping up and down and making me stop talking. I Nothing. am going to howl. I, I remember this now. Um, now, I, I will warn you, this is a little dark. <laughs> as, okay. they, as they say. Kevin could get a little dark. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the, the, sometimes the, tr- the truth is a little bit dark. Right, that. right. Let, let's face it. But again, remember, the key to this is it's not very long, and um, we are running out of time. Right. So we really can't expand on this story. <laughs> um, but and that only again, adds to the humor, actually. Yeah, yeah th- this is uh, a, a great moment from the show, and here we go. No, you know, I, I'm not trying to overstate this, but you mentioned that you enjoy a cocktail now and then. Yes. Who doesn't? Did you hear about the guy that uh, did 56 shots? Oh, that's that's a little bit too much. Well, uh, he's dead now, right? That's yeah, fifty six ounces. Of it's a, alcohol. Did he yeah. die? Yeah, well, yeah, of course uh, yeah. he had to die. Uh, had to. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh yeah, there's a lawsuit now. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, mm-hmm. probably about fifteen or sixteen, one of our friends, Danny, I'll, I won't say his last name, uh, he took a bottle of vodka and drank the whole thing down in front of us. Mm. Uh, you know, just like watch this, guys, <laughs> and just downed it, and then he passed out. You yikes. Know? And then we put him in the car, and we drove him to his house and threw him on his front, knocked on the door and threw him on the front lawn. And his mother comes out, what did you do to my kid? Oh. He didn't do anything. He's crazy. Mm. You know? <laughs> and uh, How's he doing these days? He's dead. Oh. <laughs> Time now for things you learned. <laughs> did he die that night? No, he did not die okay. that night. No, he hung himself a few years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm sorry, everybody. I feel oh terrible now. What a comedian! Man. What a horrible he oh. brought me down memory lane. Oh God! But what did we learn? Never, never ask questions in a situation like that. And, it, yeah. and, and that's what when you hear that music going, you, you realize we're, we have to get going. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, knows. there's some computer thing. If we're not off the air by this time, uh, something goes wrong in in, in London, England, or something. It off. Meridian like that, time gets. I like that saber dance too. That. Oh, <laughs> and then, as I recall, we came back after that, and uh, yeah, there was a lot more stuff. He off expanded here. a little yeah. bit on the story, and gotcha. Yeah, and he did mean to say hanged, not hung, but uh, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Picture, pictures are hung. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, we, go, are... we get the message. Kevin Meany, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, uh, gone way him. too soon. Yeah. Oh, way absolutely. too soon. Yeah, happy to be here. I look around the room and I see the very handsome. Me? God, no one picks up on it. It's unbelievable. Too humble for me. Gave, gave you guys a really good chance. We let uh, him go ahead, man. Go, man. Go. Okay, I'll start with the TV screens. On my left, I see Pat Godwin. Hello. Uh, elsewhere in the building, but uh, he's on the tube. Then I see uh, Al Jackson rocking it with some headphones. Hello. Uh, Al Jackson calling from Denver, Colorado. It's good to see you, Al. We're on the YouTube, and you can see uh, you can see Al. And then I go to. Uh, Ace Cosby has taken off his traditional baseball cap and has on some kind of a, uh, what is that called? I'm a new do-rag. A do-rag. Oh, look at that. Boy, oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> is that the name? Is that the name? Yeah, D-U-R-A-G okay. is the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I, there's one over here for me. Okay, oh, yeah, we've all, we've all got them. I, uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I guess mine got lost. Oh, there, Al's <laughs> putting his on now. Okay. Oh, you oh, tied in the go. back. <laughs> a lot of yeah, NFL uh, guys wear these. The tails are pretty long in these. Well, yeah, oh, of, you wrap them, huh? A lot of NFL guys wear these, um, uh, primarily uh, from the African-American community. Um, 
Do any white dudes wear these in the interview? Well, I'd like to see you. Eminem has worn. Aren't you going to try it on, before. Tom? Yeah, Tom. Uh, well, on, give me Tom. a second here. Let me let me finish yeah. the introductions here. Uh, Chick McGee at the uh, at the CrazyCockWine.com sports desk, the soon to be named chair, the the sidekick chair with. Uh, with Josh Arnold over there, uh, an elaborate uh, do rag uh, thing going on with Al. Uh, this is uh, Tom speaking, up. and uh, Christy Lee, of course, uh, as I mentioned at the Navy Federal Credit Union yes. news desk. Al, what's the latest? What's happening? Uh, life is good here in Denver, Tom. Uh, Thursdays is our uh, milk delivery day. I've, I've gone back to the 1950s. Wow! Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I get I get uh, milk delivered, and it's like. In these crazy times, something to look forward to. Like, you need the little things. I think that's why Amazon's so important. It's like a little baby Christmas every day. I know. What what kind of milk do you get? Do you get, uh, like, half and half or skim? What, uh... Uh, I, I got to get the oatmeal. You know your boy is lactose intolerant. Uh, the milk uh, does not sit well with me. There'll be no Aww. daily place live if I have milk. So we, we do the oat milk, which is, who would ever thought, like, how good oat and almond milk is? It's weird. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm a milk milk guy. I don't I don't have the issues, so I enjoy regular. Now, can milk. you drink just a glass of milk, Tom? Just like just a glass of milk. I typically drink uh, uh, coffee with uh, half and half in it. That's my favorite hmm. from okay. actual dairy cows, uh, supporting the great farmers and dairy farmers in the USA. Yeah, we got too far away from farms, and then this whole phrase like farm to table came back, and then you have a steak or some food or lamb from a, a farm that's down the street, and you're like, oh, never again. I, I, I'm only doing this now. Farm yeah. to take, like stuff fresh from a farm. It's amazing. It's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. It's no, a uh, real, real difference. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm a big regular milk guy. Um, yeah, absolutely. I like, do you, do you eat cereal? Do you put cereal on? Do you you know what? I think I, I, whatever, I'm sure there's a term for that psychologists use in terms of like, like uh, scarring yourself. But before lactose intolerant was a phrase, I would have cereal in the morning and get on the school bus and have a crazy stomach ache. And it happened for like a year. So then like, I think I associate cereal with that. And I know I can still have cereal, but I got so out of the habit. So I just was eating shredded mini wheats because you don't need milk with toast. Oh, those yeah. are good. I was, I was like a 71 year old. <laughs> Not even the frosted ones. I was just eating the ones that were just wheat, like wicker furniture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you got to go with the frosted mini wheats. Those are I know. Best. I didn't realize. They're, 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 they're like life. candy. Yeah. You're, you're aware of uh, Tom's process for eating uh, shredded wheat, Al? Uh, oh, I need to hear it, Chicky. Yeah, Tom. Well, if you get the big shredded wheat, yeah, you have to put it in a baggie, and then you take one of those hammers, those kitchen hammers, meat tenderizing oh. hammer, and you bash it in the in the thing. So that way, when you you can't, was that to intimidate your family members? Why would you do that? <laughs> no, I, I do that all. You're the time. sending the message. Yeah. yeah. And then to add, uh, I add a little extra flavor and joy. What do you mix your shredded wheat with? What other cereal? <laughs> uh, 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 grape nuts. Grape nuts. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Tom. Tom. Well, I just throw some. Is this uh, more of an intervention, chick? Than yeah. This? The bits of glass in there. Yeah, I always, uh, Alice, since you live in Denver, you know what snow is like. I always carry a box of grape nuts in my car in case I get stuck in the ice. <laughs> Sprinkle that back there and practicing to be a woodchuck in case the housing market collapses. <laughs> yeah. Why are you eating grape nuts? I, I never grape understood nuts. that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I love grape. When I, I was, love grape nuts When I was a kid, too, if I didn't, if I didn't eat what my mom made at dinner, I had to have cereal. So, oh. um, so I would, and I would always have Rice Krispies, which I, I can no longer eat because I had them every night for years. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a big I, cereal fan, big milk guy too. Does anybody hit there have a food that they ate so much once they got sick and can't eat it anymore? I did that with jelly beans. Like I got a bag of jelly beans when I was probably 10 or 11 and no one in my family knew I had it. And I scarfed them down before I could be discovered. And I threw them up and I can never eat them again. Yeah, I can't you, have jelly beans. You give yourself a taste aversion. I did it with hot damn. I did <laughs> it with peppermint schnapps. That's exactly. where I was going. Yeah, yeah, I was, was, was going to say, uh, for me, it was gin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gin. Oh, yeah. 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 Never, never again. Oh, Jägermeister for you. Doug ways. Stanhope had that great joke where he said, that's how I'm going to stop drinking. Is I'm just going to go through all the liquors and get sick from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll probably work. Our guest is uh, comedian Al Jackson. He is featured on The Daily Blast. And now, are you back in studio or are you doing it from your house again? Uh, Tommy, we were back in studio starting this Monday. It was cool. It was weird. I mean, I think everybody, you, you know, here's a little good news and like, there's something to be ready for. We, we are coming out of this, but it's going to be a little weird, man. Just going back to the studio. It's just like, there's not many people there. You're like, you're not in your house. And I mean, we've been in our house for what, like 60 days now. So it's kind of just like everything's a little weird, but it's a good, it's a good kind of week. Okay. Well, good. It will be a great, great to be in. We've been lucky enough to be in our studio because it's big enough that we can, uh, we can socially separate. And then we've exiled 
Christy and Pat. Yes. Yeah. To, uh, okay. to, to Let me see Christy's spaces. outfit so I can tell you what she looks like today. Uh, uh, Chris, Christy looks like a social worker that takes that really looks out for black kids. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, look, he's a good kid. All right. Yeah. Just let him yeah. give him another chance. I'm trying She's to get got used a, bl- to a blindside poster in her office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get used to Ace with the do-rag on. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it too. You can see his face. Yeah. I like it a lot. I yeah. see it. Ace, it works. It has kind of a it has kind of a chic of Araby thing going too. Because <laughs> in the bit. back, it's, it does a little bit. Because in the back, it's got the it's thing where long. it's tied and. I really wish you'd try it on. Tom. We're being told by uh, Jess Hooker, our correspondent, who's live chatting on YouTube, that people are exploding. They want to see Tom put on the do rag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hang on. Yeah. I gotta, it's, it's in a. I gotta, of course we do. Hang on a second. I got to cut this. Reading gold. Tom has Tom. Sewing go. scissors. Okay. Now, do I need directions go. to put this on, Al? <laughs> uh, Ace and I will walk you through oh, it. All right. God. You're going to have to remove the hat. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> he hasn't got the package open yet. Hang on. Got okay, the package. Got the package open. Um, this does seem right. somewhat complicated. All right, he's got this. Okay, yeah, there you go. Now just put the top, put the crown of it on the top of your head, and then just let the sides hang down. Do you? Oh, you put your head through it like a hood? Uh, just put it on top of your head, just like a hood. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Just like in the hood. Yeah, the hang downs are the front. I think. There you go. All right, so there you go, Tom. Already, already amazing. You look like a grandmother. Yeah, one. So now you want to tie it? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yes. Now do one lap around your head. Oh, this is there you excellent. Go. Um, how there you go. Oh, that's there you go. Be hard that's it. Tie. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, you're doing it. Huh? Eminem's yeah. dead. Can I just put it, like braids down? Sure, you yeah, can do that. Yeah, put the headphones on it. Hell with it. Is that cool? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. really good. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's great. Now, would I get the crap beaten out of me if I wore this anywhere? It gives no, because uh, everybody would be like, you're crazy. Yeah, you got an edge. I like the edge, yeah. Yeah, no one would mess with you. Really? No. They go, look at this maniac because well, now, now Al, you put the glasses on. Al, I have a swim cap that I wear. That looks uh, very that similar. Looks just like mm-hmm. this. They'd call yeah, you, but it's not that. They'd call you the wizard now. Hey, man, don't mess with the wizard, man. Really? Is this cool? No, that's a different kind of hood, chick. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh boy. No, seriously, Al, yours kind of looks like a beret, Al. Now I kind of here. Mine is tied up in the back. You can, you can. Mine got caught here. Let's see how it, it can dangle go. on the back like that. No, but seriously, I'll, I, if I if I uh, wore this um, downtown, would I get the crap beaten out of me? No, you would get some looks though. But you, they would be like, he. There's a reason he's confident enough to wear that. They'd be like, he's yes. got some connections. They would be like Breaking Bad and Indy. Yeah, this is this is this isn't like a narc look. No, oh, not a, no narc would do that no. uh, if they wanted to see day two. Okay, now Josh is Josh is putting it on. Um, oh yeah, that that is a good look. See, Josh knows black culture, so I I, I think he's going to get that. But Tom, yours is fitting really nicely around your head. Hey Tom, yeah. Tom? Yes. Look at this guy walking down the street in a do rag, 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 a do do rag, rag. He's gonna get his ass beat in that do do rag, 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 do do rag, rag. All right, I'm done. Oh, right, you guys look good. great. Look at this. We have our own little gang. Yeah. It, it's um, pretty comfortable. You'll yeah. get used to it, and then you'll get nice waves in your hair. If you it have feels black, good. Kick your hair. Yeah. yeah. Just keep your head I'm afraid Josh looks like a guy who is uh, <laughs> <laughs> having some issues, and they brought him. They brought him to the locker room to meet the team. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Uh, let's see. Uh, a chick? Let's see. With the do-rag? What do you think? Yeah. Looks uh, good. Yeah. You kind of can pull it off. Yeah. Uh, you know, I won one of those uh, Kangol hats, Sam Jackson sure. hats. I got oh, one. Sure. Of, I, I wear it at home by myself a lot, but I love it. Why don't you wear it here? I'd like I'm, to see it. Uh, I'm chicken. Chicken. Won't do it. No. Uh, you only wear it. Chi- let me tell you that, uh, something about the. It, you know, I I used to have uh, articles of clothing that I that I would wear around the house that I liked, and I was just like, dude, I don't know if you guys started to see the pictures of me wearing a romper and wearing <laughs> wearing ridiculous hats. Like, just wear it. Yeah. Just yeah. own it. Just I'm telling you, man. Like you, if you just have the confidence, you will pull it off. Man. Exactly. I told you, chick chick looks like a guy that hits on black women at jazz clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he could pull it off if you just got that swagger, man. I'm telling, just check, just do it one Saturday. Once everybody's out and having a good time, no one's mad when they see a Kango hat. No, <laughs> no, it makes them smile, right? They smile. Now, certainly, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll be accused of uh, uh, cultural appropriation. How do we react to that? What's our best defense? 
you just say, this is what I like. This is what I rock. I'm not mocking it. This yeah. is, I like, I've always liked Kangos. I always liked Sam Jackson in it. I, I look up to him. I look up to his sense of style, and this is how I'm rocking it. So back up off me. Yeah. So, culture, cultural appropriation would be like if you had the, the, the dreadlocks hanging out of it like you would get when you went on vacation at Jamaica. Like, that's not sure. cool. Thing. No, I totally yeah, but, dude, get just it. Just but... rocking, rocking a, a Kango hat. Is fine, like, right? But it's become it. one yeah. of those things that some people just like to Man, cry. Those culturally. are just people that are just looking for something to do on the internet. And 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 I heard Pat, Pat Niles will say one time, he's like, "Of all the hate I get on Twitter and all that kind of stuff, those people are never at my shows. No one's ever confronted me. All the people that, yep, those people are not real, man. Those people are <laughs> in their basement tweeting away while the rest of us live real life. So don't let that don't let that dissuade you from rocking that Kango. Get a yeah, red one, damn yeah, it! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could get a uh, an, another one of these and put it around my face as a uh, as a safety mask. Sure, <laughs> and I would I would look like a woman in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. you would. Yes, you know this might start coming because we can't get our hair cut. Maybe this will become a thing for everybody. Well, I looked at the package do-rag. this do rag came in, Alan. Apparently, this is designed to uh, train your hair. Train it yeah, to it- do what? It, says, it gives your hair waves if yeah. you wear. Oh. See, the thing is, I don't know if I even have mine because I didn't sleep with mine last night. Um, but like, it pushes your hair forward and makes it lay down. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you can see it that well, but well, Al's going to uh, have to push my hair, hair forward from just above my neckline. <laughs> 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 you got to wear a lot. Of pushing. Tom. <laughs> okay, Al, Al, we we got to do, do a real rapid quiz here. Uh, okay, do you have let, any questions for me? Of course I do. And Tom, I actually have a couple because you've been getting so good with the vocab. I have uh, two sentences I want you to break down for me. Okay. okay? All right. Here's the first one, Tom. I crept over there thinking she was going to be a deuce, but she was a dime. Unfortunately, I shot an airball Cialis. Uh, okay, I know the last part. I'm assuming an airball Cialis means you took the um, erectile dysfunction drug, but uh, uh, she, it turned out she was not available. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. Uh huh. Now, the, what's the first part? She thought she was going to be a I, deuce. I crept over there thinking she was going to be a deuce, but she was a dime. Boy, the dime thing is troubling. Mm. Oh, I, you I got have this. a guess. You got you, this. You think about that. You thought she was yeah. going to be she's a, gonna be a, a deuce. Uh, but she turned out to be a dime. Yeah. Uh, sh- sh- it's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, oh so, so you thought she was going to be a, 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 a not extraordinarily attractive two, but she right. turned yes. out to be a ten. Exactly. exactly. Yes. yes. But then why why didn't the Viagra or the Cialis pay mm. off? Well, just because, uh, you know, sometimes they're not with it. And uh, you know, you take it, anticipate that they will be, but then you're like, "Oh, we're just wa- we're really just watching Netflix and chilling." Okay. Oh, oh okay. All right. So, uh, uh, you say it again, the phrase, please. All right, I, Tom. I crept over there thinking she was going to be a deuce, but she was a dime. But unfortunately, I still shot an airball Cialis. <laughs> an airball Cialis. That sounds like yeah. a team name. It's such yeah. a great term. Well, <laughs> what, what? Why crept? What, does that mean you went? Uh, you had to walk? No, no. Think about that. That's another word we need to break down. Right. What's, cre- Crep. what's creeping? Uh, TLC had a song about it. Um, <laughs> on the sly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Tom, you're yeah. This. Yeah. Oh, so this would this would be as you term it, Al, your side piece. You right. probably have to creep over to your side piece if you don't want to be recognized. Or, people, are, you know, everybody's got a phone now. You got to creep now. Or a would-be side piece. I could disguise myself by putting on this do rag. I was going to say, I think yes. the do rag is affecting your. Um, hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom is really good. Well, I, I am going to have I am going to have a friend of mine do some uh, so called drop ins for those little audio things where he goes uh, Bob and Tom in the trunk, baby. <laughs> yeah, I learned that from it, you. Well, uh-huh. it started as a game and it's taken over your life. Yes. Tom, you got time for one more sentence? I, I do. Go ahead. All right, let's do this. Tom, I was hanging out in the neighborhood. I rarely do. Uh, showed a face card and immediately it made me a mark, so I dipped. Whoa. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot going on here. Mm-hmm. What's the last part? You dipped? I dipped. Okay, this is not traditional dipping with tobacco products, obviously. This is not. Okay. <laughs> you uh, dip, we dip. Okay, give me the first part again. You're doing. You're in the neighborhood. You don't go into I was, it. I was hanging out in a, in a neighborhood I never hang out in. And, right. Uh, you know, I showed a face card, and, I immediate, and it immediately made me a mark. So I dipped. Okay. Does this have uh, racial implications? No. Okay. Okay. Showed a face card. Um, yeah. That would be a, a high value card, right? Uh, go with high value and take card out of there. Right. Um. 
Uh, tell, help me here, Josh. I've lost. Uh, you may have flashed a uh, hundred dollar bill. And yes, it made sir. You, it made you the potential victim of a robbery, so uh, you left. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, Jesus, Josh, that was perfect. <laughs> Gosh, Josh, <laughs> that was oh, perfect. Gosh. You're right. It's the do rag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The do rag has changed your why, lives. The, why the phrase dipped? Dipped, dipped just out. means you dipped out. Yeah, you just left. Left. Okay. You dipped out. Yeah, I, pref- I prefer. <laughs> I preferred my dip with chips. Oh, yes. well, that, 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 huh. saying something like that would also make you a mark. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look at old French onion over here. <laughs> Rob and blind. Now, yeah, the, uh, I, this do rag thing. Did you have you ever noticed? I think we could maybe. Do they make do rags with logos on them? Uh, some some do some I th- I've seen some that say like Adidas and stuff in the front because we one, could get one for Donnie Baker and it would say Mountain Do Rag. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Let's customize that. You could put Bob and Tom on the front. Yeah, that might be uh, that might be a little rough. Yeah, I bet we'd sell five. I think there are quite a few people that will represent in the so, black community for us. Uh, so do the deuce thing again for me. How does that go again? I I oh. thought she was a deuce, but she was a. I dime. crept over there, thinking she was going to be a deuce, but she was a dime. Unfortunately, I still shot an airball Cialis. Wow, airball Cialis. Mm. You know what you need to do? Go home today. And when you see your girlfriend go, what's up, Dime? And see what oh, she says. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. a hell of a compliment. Wearing yeah. the do-rag. She's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a 10. You're just calling her a 10. Uh-huh. Yeah. With this thing on. Yes, absolutely. If they remade the Dudley Moore movie today, it'd be called Dime. <laughs> Written okay. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Hart stars in Dime. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's a great idea. By the way, I, I, Al, um, did you know that uh, Josh is from St. Louis, the home of the great Chuck Berry? Yeah. And actually, yes. he, he didn't care for dimes. He preferred to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. Al, you are indeed oh. my man, my man, 50 grand. Hey, I'm proud of so, you, Tom. You did good today. Good job with the do rag, Thank y'all. you. And, and, yes. and, and w- w- watch Al on the Daily Blast. Google Daily Blast and uh, check out Al on the TV. Thank you very much, Al. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.